They're used to red carpet events in Los Angeles. And this time the red carpet was rolled out for the British Special Olympics squad on the eve of the biggest event of their lives. That's a letter I got from the Queen. Kayaker Stephen Dodd wrote to the Queen before leaving the UK and received best wishes back from Balmoral. But people weren't always so kind to Stephen. I used to get bullied at school, kicked in the head and a few things. But the one problem is, the bullies, what am I doing? You said I'll never achieve anything. We're ready to go. Huh? Show them what you're made of. These athletes' ability to overcome the odds and the obstacles has impressed one Olympian. They can push through their adversity that they've had and they overcome that to be able to play at this level of, of activity. It's like amazing. And, and they do it with such grace and such quality and such style. It's just, I'm, I'm really proud to, to be behind it and support them. But the team isn't as well supported financially as other British squads. The majority of the kids here, their families would have had to pay uh, about £2,000 each to get them here. These kids, it's changed their life and everybody around them. As the home of the Oscars, this city is no stranger to big events, but this is the single biggest event held in Los Angeles since the 1984 Olympics. Back then, Carl Lewis, Seb Coe and Daley Thompson all won gold at the very stadium they're using this evening. In total, there are close to 7,000 athletes taking part from 177 countries competing in 25 sports. The opening ceremony began with a message from the president. Thank you all for being a part of the Special Olympics. And good luck, everybody. Before the teams, including the British squad, were introduced to the near 80,000 crowd. There was also a performance from Stevie Wonder. And finally, the games were opened by the First Lady. You fill us with so much joy. And we cannot wait to see all that you'll accomplish over these next few days, but more importantly, in the years ahead. A fireworks finale, and the dignitaries and celebrities left the stage. Now it's time for the athletes to take centre stage over the next nine days. Stuart Pollitt, BBC News, Los Angeles.